If you are going to do your studies in the Netherlands, you need a place to live. And therefore it is important that you start looking for housing early on and make sure you have signed a contract before you arrive here. In this video we provide you with tips and tricks to find a place to live. The first question, where to start looking? Well, you basically have two options. Your first option is to make use of the housing offered by Saxion in Deventer and Enschede. These accommodations are located throughout the city, not on campus, but all within cycling or walking distance from Saxion. If you want to learn more about how to arrange this and what conditions apply, then follow the link in the description of this video. The other option is to find housing on your own. That can be challenging though. In the Netherlands, the average searching time is three months or longer, so we strongly recommend that you start looking for your accommodation on time. Make sure you have arranged your housing before you travel to the Netherlands to start your studies at Saxion. So, are you ready to start looking for housing? Well, here are some tips and tricks to get you going. First of all, start with preparing a budget. It's always a good idea to start with a plan, especially when it comes to expenses. So think beforehand about how much money you have available for rent plus additional costs. Do you want to get to know more about a typical student budget in Netherlands? Then there is a link in the description that may come in handy. But the most important financial question is, how much rent do I have to pay per month? And the answer is, that depends. Yeah, I know, that answer doesn't help you. But it really does depend on the type of housing, whether it's shared or individual, and whether your rent includes costs like gas, water and electricity. But just so you have an idea of how much rent could be, here's an indication. In case you experience some difficulties while looking for housing in Enschede, Deventer or Apeldoorn, you may also want to consider living in one of the cities close by, like Hengelo or Almelo when you're studying in Enschede. And if you're going to study in Deventer, living in Apeldoorn might also be a good alternative. And if that's the case for you, you'll have to add travel expenses to your budget. For general prices for traveling by train, you can check out the link in the description. So when you have decided on your budget, it's time to actually find housing. In the Netherlands, it's very common to search for housing online. For every city, there's usually an online platform on which most of the available housing is shown. We advise you to sign up for one of these platforms as soon as possible. On these platforms, multiple housing organizations are partner and offer accommodation to students like you. These are the links you'd have to go to for either Enschede or Deventer. You can also find them in the description of this video. There are also commercial platforms where you can find a room. And before signing up, make sure you know how they work, because sometimes you need to pay a commission fee or subscription fee. Check out the description for more information. And don't worry, because you don't have to be able to read Dutch. These platforms are also available in English. There are two possible ways of finding a room on these platforms. Sometimes it's just as simple as responding to a room offer, but sometimes Rooms work with co-optation or a vote-in system. In Dutch, this is also called hospiteren. There will be a selection procedure in which the existing occupants of a student house choose who they are going to live with. This procedure usually takes place in a student house where housemates spend a lot of time together, which is why they select their own flatmates. For more information on co-optation, check the link in the description. So. It's a lot, but hopefully you know where to start looking for your housing. It might be all a bit overwhelming, and that's why we have gathered some tips and tricks in order to help you. You can find them via a link in the description as well. And one tip we will give you right now is to check out social media platforms when it comes to your search for housing. In the Netherlands, Facebook is also a place if you want to find a room. When you start searching for a room, be careful. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Read the rental agreement attentively and make sure you know what you'll be paying for. In case you're doubtful, ask someone for assistance. You're always welcome to ask us for advice about your rental agreement, if it's written in Dutch, for example. Or get in touch with students to help you. And one more word of advice, 
make sure you actually do get a rental agreement. This is one of the conditions for living and getting registered in the Netherlands. Wow, that was a long video with a lot of information. But well done, because you got to the end. Now you have all the information you'll need in order to find housing. Don't forget to check the links in the description and good luck with your search.